and that lets you save the who cares? True form life. Green look on the <laughs> Welcome to Exploring Mind and Body with Drew Tadia. Drew is an expert in nutrition, fitness, lifestyle, and more. And he wants to help you live a healthier, longer, and more active life. Now here's your host, Drew Tadia. All right, welcome to another edition of Nationally Syndicated Exploring Mind and Body. As always, I'm your host, Drew Tadia. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of our True Form Life community and listening from wherever you are in the world or across Canada. Now, today I'm bringing on another fantastic guest. This is Kristen Harper, and today we're going to be talking about work-life balance. Such an important topic, especially in this day and age where it seems like we're stressed out. You know, it seems like we're too busy to do anything except to be stressed out. Now, Kristen's the founder of her health company called Perfect Health Consulting Services with the goal to help people all around the world to become healthier. She's a certified nutrition consultant. She holds a master's degree in administration with an emphasis in health promotion. Now, once again, we're talking about work-life balance, what you can do to stay healthy with a work with a busy work schedule, as well as bu- staying busy at home. We know we have kids. We know we have events. We're trying to stay healthy. We're trying to cook meals. So we've got all kinds of tips and takeaways to help you stay healthy while you're busy. (laughs) Again, work-life balance with Kristen Harper. Stay right there. We got all that coming up on... This is Exploring Mind and Body. Naturally improve your lifestyle one show at a time with your host, Drew Tadia. All right, welcome to another edition of Exploring Mind and Body. You heard all about Kristen Harper in the introduction, so without further ado, welcome to the show, Kristen. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. It's our pleasure. I'm excited to talk about talk to you and talk about this topic. Today we're talking about, well, why don't you tell us what we're talking about? Okay, we're actually going to talk about work-life balance. It's important to have balance in your work life and your personal life for optimum health. Absolutely. There's so many issues today with, I think we're a society driven around work, work, work. And I'm going to be able to use some of your tips you're offering today as well. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. Very good. Kristen, before we get into the main topic here, can you tell us about yourself? Just give us our audience a chance to learn more about you before we get into it. Yes, I'm located here in Arizona in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And I am the founder of Perfect Health Consulting Services. My company provides hair analysis and increase your vitality programs to clients worldwide. It's a natural approach to healing the body by addressing mineral imbalances. I'm also a health and wellness speaker and also the radio a radio show host for tips to keep you healthy, happy, and motivated on Voice America's health and wellness channel and also on KFNX in Phoenix, Arizona. Awesome. So is that terrestrial radio in Phoenix? Yeah, so um, yes, it's just like what you're doing. And then uh, Voice America is internet, which is worldwide. So I have my show in Phoenix and then Voice America, which is internet all over the place, (laughs) everywhere. Very cool. So how did you get into what you're doing? What's your background? Uh, So, and I have a couple of college degrees, and then I also, my background is in hair analysis as far as my education. The reason I'm into hair analysis is because I had health issues since I was a child, and I had that unrelenting fatigue that you have all the time. And I tried a lot of healing modalities out there, nothing helped me, and then I got my first hair test done back in uh, 2001 and was able to turn my health around, and then I got into starting my business back in 2009, started uh, consulting clients worldwide and reviewing hair tests and then providing recommendations, including like a healthy diet, taking nutritional supplements, detox and more. So it's just, it's just one of my passions. Very cool. So that was able to help you improve your health. So you want to use that to help others improve? Absolutely. And my goal is to help people all over the world, you know, get healthy. And is that, that's my mission. Is it extensive schooling to learn about that stuff? I would say um, I have a hair analysis diploma and then I have a certification in hair analysis from two different 
uh, well, through Westbrook University and then through Malter Institute. I would say as far as education, it's not too long, but I will say it takes a long time to learn hair analysis because it's so complex. It's very involved. And then I'm going back to school now because I want to become a naturopathic doctor. Wow. Yes, yeah, so I'm busy like you, just every day, just busy. <laughs> Got lots of things going on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so when we talk about work-life balance, what's the biggest issue right now with our society and working so much? Yeah, so that's not good because you need personal time to take care of your health. And there's just a lot of people, I even interviewed someone uh, recently, you know, person that's in the business world and he just said that there's so many people that are working long hours and you know when someone's especially working overtime like working over 40 hours you, you don't have a lot of personal time to take care of yourself and then also it, it creates stress too and I was reading something on WebMD recently that 75 to 90 percent of all doctor office visits are stress related ailments and complaints Wow. That's huge. That's huge. I mean, that's like most of the population and stress affects your health. And so I just feel like the step, there's a few steps I would say, but uh, the first one would be that if you're working long hours at a job, and I remember years ago, I used to work like way over 40 hours a week for my career. I was working probably like 50 or 60 hours a week. Then if you're in that type of situation, I would talk to your employer and see if you could, you know, cut back and see if there's any way that they could get you down to the 40 hours. Or if they're not willing to work with you, maybe you find a different career or maybe start a business where you have more balance in your life. <laughs> I think if you start a business, you work more than if you're an employee, you know? I, I agree with you because when I used to, I, I agree with you completely. I'm sure you're the same way, but... I, I feel like I even work more now having my own business, but maybe, <laughs> may, but maybe like a part-time business or something, you know, you can be creative, but there's so many different ways to start a business, even on the internet nowadays, there's so many opportunities, you know? Yeah. It seems like there's new businesses popping up every day. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it, well, when it comes to like our society, I think we're just used to I suppose it depends where you live as well. I, I'm from the West, like where I'm from the West side of Canada or Western Canada and the Eastern Canada is much different. And at least from what I experienced. So here we're from like, I'm, I'm from Calgary, Alberta and it's a big, it's a business, like a big business area. There's lots of oil. There's lots of beef. Like <laughs> everyone is business orientated in, in some way. And our, our business are, our, our, uh, Excuse me, I lost it here. Our our cities are growing, and they're like all connecting all around this area. And then you go to the East Coast, and it's quite a bit slower. So to me, it seems like a bit, which is awesome, like a bit more family orientated. People seem to like to visit more. No one's really in a rush. Again, at least what I experienced. So it's a completely different lifestyle from being here, and everyone's rushing. Everyone has appointments, and then you go out there. And everyone's like, <laughs> kind of hanging out and, and enjoying life a bit more. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's really interesting. Such a huge difference, you know? Yeah, I think it depends where, where you are, where you live. But as a whole, I'd imagine just our society, it's like so – it's like fast-paced. Yes. Like everyone's trying to make money. Everyone's trying to get yes. to their job. Yes. What do you think – so what do you think some of the things are that we can do if we're in a busy – lifestyle like we have kids we have our family how do we find time for our health yeah so i talked about the first step was you know if you have a job where it's taking up too many hours you need to cut back and try to work with your employer maybe get into a different career or start a business but then let's say that you have a job that's balanced where you're not working too many hours but you have less time in your personal life to take care of your health uh, some tips i have would be I would say even coming up with like a priority list, and this is what I do because I have a very busy schedule. I keep a list every day and I put like the most important things at the top of my list that I need to accomplish. So what you need to do is cut out the less important things in your personal life because I feel that health is number one. Without your health, you don't have anything. So you need to cut the less important things out so you have more time for your health. So, for example, let's say you're spending too much time on Facebook at night. You know, instead of having more, you're, you're spending, you know, you're on Facebook for like two or three hours. That means that you have less time to take care of your health. And there are certain things that you have to do to take care of your health, including like eating healthy, cooking your organic meals, 
uh, taking your nutritional supplements, living a healthy lifestyle, going outside, taking your walks, getting sunshine, doing your detoxification, doing your meditation. There's things that you have to do to keep yourself healthy or get healthy. So I would say cut out the less important things like Netflix or talking on the phone for like over an hour or too much time on Facebook and then replacing those less important things with more important things to take care of your health. Um, yeah. And then when it comes to prioritizing, you may- mentioned the list that you made. I feel like many times we make a list <laughs> and then we do the things that are easy or that we'd rather do. And the most yes. important things are what we what we kind of avoid. And we're like, well, I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Exactly. And, you know, I I totally agree with you. And so what I even think is important is even trying to get like the most important things done first thing in the morning. Yeah. You know, just try to get them done because if you wait or procrastinate or wait later in the day and then maybe at night you're getting too tired and then you can't squeeze it in now, you try to get the things that are most important done in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. Have you heard of time blocking? No. I don't think it's like... It's nothing like groundbreaking. It's just <laughs> it's just exactly what it sounds like. It's time blocking. So you block your time at certain parts of the day. And like you mentioned here in the morning, I'm reading this book. Well, I've read it like a hundred times. And every once in a while, I'll put it down. And I'll pick it back up. But it's very inspira- inspirational to me because it always makes me feel more efficient or it offers tips about how to be more efficient. And one of them is time blocking. And it talks about that, like what you're saying is you block a couple hours. Or maybe you have to get ready or you get the kids ready or, or however that works for you in your lifestyle. But you time block. The best time is in the morning. And maybe you have an hour, maybe you have 30 minutes, whatever it is. But you time block at that time and you let nothing get in your way so you can be the most efficient as possible, which sets your day up for success. I absolutely agree with that completely. And so... I would say I don't even believe in multitasking and how you're doing like a few things at the same time because that just slows you down and you're not going to be very efficient. So just focus on one thing. And then I like the time blocking. I think that's amazing. That's actually what I do because when I'm doing like computer work, I always make sure that I don't work more than three hours at my computer. It's always three hours or less as far as my time block on my on my schedule because I don't know if you've heard of this, Drew, but um, there's this gentleman. His name is Jake Steiner of nmyopia.org, and he's a vision coach, and he's helped people all over the world get their vision back to 2020, and I re- reduced my prescription, I would say, in half uh, very quickly, like less than a year. Wow. And and one of the things that he recommends is you can't do too much close up because that will affect your eyes. And so you always have to do three hours or less on the computer. So I try to get all my work done within that time, you know, like three hours or less and then take a break from my computer because you need more of the distance vision. So take a break or go outside or whatever. That's so. amazing. I'm so interested in eyes. I really am. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, and I've looked for people to come on and talk about eyes. I did talk about talk to someone. I did have an interview a couple of years ago about eye vision in a holistic manner. But I'd love to find out more details. Mm-hmm. And so when, you, when you're at, at the computer, how long do you take a break? So you try to go three hours or less. And then how long is your break before you go back? Um, I would say at least about an hour. And you, see, the thing is, is our eyes are meant to have more distance vision. So uh, you need to go outside more. So I try to do my walks to get the distance vision because close up causes you to have poor vision. So more distance vision. Um, also, lighting at your computer is important for good vision. And also, what I do is when I do close up, and I have, I wear contacts. And when I'm doing close up work, I wear these plus glasses that I get at a pharmacy and they're called differential glasses. I put those over my, um, when I'm wearing my contacts and it actually reduces my prescription even more when I'm doing close up. And then when you're at a distance, I don't use the close up glasses and that's a different prescription. Okay. And it, so I do that. And then I also do active focus. That's like this exercise that you do where it's kind of like you're blinking like you see a little bit of blur with the text and then you blink and it things become more clear. So there's all these things, but I mean, this is proof that it works because I've tried other vision programs out there. I've tried 
um, Bates method. I've tried pinhole glasses and I've tried so much over the years and I've been wanting to get my vision back to 2020. And this is the only program that worked for me. And like I said, I've cut my prescription in half already. And how long have you been working on um, it for? Yeah, I would say it's been a little bit over a year. Wow. That's amazing. So, well, you know what the thing is for me is that I feel like as we get older, we accept that our health declines. And we're just like, well, I'm getting older. Uh, these things tend to come up. Like I, I can't move very well. Um, vision is a big one. Like for me, I've been able to do more things as I age than I was you know, at a younger age. Like running, I never, would never run a half marathon before. Or I could never do handstands or walk on my hands. So I feel like as I age, I want to get better and healthier in life. And, and it, eyes in general, everyone I talk to is like, yeah, it's just kind of normal. Your eyes get weaker as you get older and you'll have to wear glasses like everyone else. And I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so this is very interesting to me. Um, so does Jake Steiner, he has a book or? Uh, he, I don't think he has a book, but you go to his website, which I like about it. You might want to even talk to him. Maybe he'll do an interview with you. But basically, he, you go to his website, and then there's like a seven-day email course that you go through. It's free. You sign up. You enter your email address, and then he provides information. And then there's two programs he offers. One is free, so if people want to improve their vision free, you, he just has a lot of resources on his website. Or you can go through the paid program, and I went through the paid program. Okay. All right. Very cool. Okay. So we talked about prioritizing. So when you're making a list of the things that are important, you know what? I think that may, may, makes such a big difference when you're talking about, I have three hours on my computer. I think many times we, we have all day on our computer. Like many people yes. just sit and work from their computer. So they have all day. So instead of being more efficient and staying, I have this amount of time. Now I have to leave, take a break, maybe leave the office. You have to be efficient with your time and making a priority list instead of a to-do list will make a big difference. Yes, absolutely. And you'll feel good about yourself too because if you don't do it and you don't get the things done that are most important, then you beat yourself up like, gosh, I needed to get this done because we we're so limited on time every day. There's never enough time. Right. We're always short on time. Yes. Okay, so... so I think what else when it comes to, so we went over uh, uh, prioritizing, getting things done right in the morning. I think that's important. What else can we do to be more efficient or, or to find that work balance in life? Yes. Yeah, so if you have less time in your personal life and you still need to get all these things done to keep healthy, sometimes you can do two things at the same time. So for example, I always... When I'm coaching my clients, I always recommend meditation because it's non-denominational. It's great for health. There's many benefits. And I do recommend it on a daily basis. But let's say one day you're too busy and you're not able to squeeze everything in. What you can do is go for a walk outside in nature. I do believe in exercise. I love walking. There are so many benefits. It will improve your vision. It will move your lymphatic system because most people have congested lymphatic systems. And so that will help with your lymphatic system. It's just overall, it's good for your health. But also when you walk and you walk really slow and you focus on each step, that's a form of meditation as well. So you can get your exercise that you need to do and you're doing your meditation at the same time. So we're being more efficient here. We got two for one. <laughs> 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 there you go. Uh, there you go. Or another thing that I enjoy too, because I like to read and always learn new things. And so let's say you need to read and you need to learn or read one of your books. Well, because sunshine is important too. You don't want to overdo it, but you still need your sunshine. So you could go outside in like your backyard and get your sunshine and read your book at the same time. Yeah, it's a great idea because many times we don't make time to read. I think that's important in our in our day to day life is to make time to read and, and learn or relax away from the TV and other screen. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Or another one would be, and it depends. Um, all my clients are different, but let's say that some of the clients need a detoxification, remove toxins from the body because many people are toxic. Then you could do your near infrared sauna therapy and do your meditation at the same time when you're in the sauna. Oh, very nice. How, and that's relaxing. How often do you think someone could benefit from an infrared sauna? Right. I would say that everyone's different. It just really depends on their hair analysis and what mineral pattern they're showing. And it depends on the age, too, because not, not sauna is not for every single person, but especially 
Uh, children that are under five, that's not recommended. Um, pregnant women, of course not. Uh, and it really depends on the mineral patterns on a hair test. But I will say for some people, like maybe starting off when you're like, you know, just starting the program, you could do, you know, 20 minutes at a time. And, you know, some some people might do really good on a daily basis. Maybe some people just need a few times a week or once a week. It just really depends on the person's health and their age and their hair analysis. When it comes to work-life balance in particular, a lot of times we run into the issue of I don't have time to work out. You talked about meditation, even talked about walking meditation. What about being more active and finding time, or I like to say making time to be more active, whether it's at a gym or whether it's at home or, or finding a way to get a workout in? Right, that's really good. And my approach is I'm more into the gentle exercise approach. I have reasons for it. But I would just say, um, I, I just, I'm the type of person, I'm just so into time management, and I have my calendar. And so I, I just am really organized, like you talked about the time block. So I have my calendar. And as soon as I wake up in the morning, I grab my, my planner, and I look at the day, and I see everything scheduled. So I like to do, and if you kind of make it consistent, like around the same time, that really helps. But what I do is I always make sure I'm getting my walks in every single day. So I always make sure at night, and it's on my calendar too, because I write everything on my calendar. But at nighttime, every single night, I'm going outside for at least 30 minutes. And that, well, I suppose it's a bit easier for you in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> yeah. And it's it's nice here in Lake Havasu because I live in the desert, but it's just like so amazing. Like even this time of year, it's just perfect to go for walks. <laughs> okay. And then someone that may live in a colder environment, what could they do? Right. So, yeah, that's a good question, but... um I would say I, I'm just more into the gentle approach. So I'm not too much into vigorous. So I'm more into walking or maybe you can go to the gym and, and do walking or gentle weightlifting would be another one. Um, I'm just more into the gen gentle approach. And the reason for it is I just feel like when you're doing uh, too much vigorous exercise, that can deplete minerals from the body and stress out the adrenal and thyroid glands. Mm hmm and overuse the sympathetic nervous system branch. But I mean, I just, I really, I think people are just sitting too much. That's the problem. And, and when you're doing that, that really congests the lymphatic system. People need to be moving. What do you think about step, like steppers or everyone seems like they got a Fitbit on or something like that? Mm-hmm. Um, Does that help? Like we uh, found, uh, uh -huh. we Go found ahead. like step challenges kind of help or, things like work challenges or just a stepper in general to be like, oh, I walked a thousand steps today. Maybe I can walk 2,000 tomorrow. Okay, okay. Um, all I pretty much say for people is like as far as walking, I would just say at least – at least 30 minutes a day, but I just feel like we need to be doing exercise every day. And I don't believe in like vigorous, like even running, I'm not too much of a fan of, but I just say at least 30 minutes, but we need to be doing it consistent every day. I believe in consistency, not just once you do it and then you just forget about it for days and days and days. It needs to be consistent. Just like when you're doing your meditation, it needs to be daily. And how long do you meditate for? Or maybe how long do you recommend to meditate for? Yeah, I would say, you know, at least 30 minutes. And for myself, there's times I'll even do an hour or longer. Wow. Is that a guided meditation or silence? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so for me, what I do is I, I used to, I've been meditating, I think, since 2003. So I used to do a meditation where I lay in bed. And there's, you know, some people can, you can do meditation different ways. You can go outside and go for a walk, or you can sit down and do your meditation. I like to lay on my back, and then I have my eyes shut, and my palms are facing down. And I used to focus more on my breath, but I've progressed over the years to where now what I do is I focus more of the energy in my hands, because the hands are rich in nerves, so it's really easy to feel the energy. So that's what I do now, is I have my eyes shut, I lay on my back, and then palms facing down, and I just feel the energy in my hands. And you do this for up to an hour at times? Yeah, sometimes I'll do 30 minutes, and then there's times I'll do an hour or longer, but I really believe that everyone should do it. Like I said, it's non-denominational. It has many benefits. It'll improve your health. Uh, it will um, enhance um, your digestion. 
It will uh, relax you. It will reduce stress. You'll feel inner peace within. Also, it helps with addictions. Years ago, I had an eating disorder. I actually overcame it because of the meditation. You know, the thing is, is we talk about, we're talking about work balance. And I think many times we're like, I don't have time for meditation or workouts. This is kind of in the same category as workouts. But I feel like when I, when I work out and or meditate, meditation in particular here, is that I have more time in the day or that I'm more efficient with what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Oh, I agree completely. You're totally right there. Yes. Yeah. So those people that say that might be listening that are struggling with work-life balance, I really feel like these types of ac activities that seem like they take time from our day, if you give them a chance, you'll realize like, oh my gosh, I'm so much more efficient or I get so much more done when I take time to do this. I, I agree. You're more efficient when you're you're taking care of your health. Absolutely. Kristen, before we wrap things up here, let us know what what's going on. I know you have your own show and you have a website. Tell us if our listeners want more details about yourself. How do we get a chance to hang out with you more? <laughs> right. So a few things is if you want to check out my radio show, I'm on Voice America. My show is Tips to Keep You Healthy, Happy, and Motivated. My show is on voiceamerica.com. It's every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And you just go to the health and wellness channel and find my show, Tips to Keep You Healthy, Happy, and Motivated. I'm also on KFNX, which they do have a website as well. That's in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And then in terms of my websites, I have one that's uh, perfecthealthconsultingservices.com. That's my hair analysis website. So you can learn more about hair analysis and what it reveals and what it can do for you. And then also my speaking website. I'm a health and wellness speaker. And my website is kristenharperspeaks.com. And that's K-R-I-S-T-E-N harperspeaks.com. And I... I wanted to tell you too, Drew, since you're in Canada, but I'm actually going to uh, Vancouver uh, Feb February 17th at four o'clock. I'm doing a speech at the wellness show in Vancouver on the 17th. Very cool. We get a chance to come up here. We're actually, well, our podcast goes all over, but our terrestrial radio station stations go across Canada. So hopefully some of our listeners get a chance to see you live. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And I'm just doing my speech on top ways to reduce stress. And I'm looking forward to going to Vancouver. I don't think I've ever been there before. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. It's beautiful. So. You'll love it. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, Kristen, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for your time and expertise. We appreciate you coming on and sharing everything that you did with us today. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this edition of Exploring Mind and Body. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in and sticking around till the end. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Kristen. I feel like it's such an important topic to pay attention to, how busy we are. And then I think from our day-to-day -day activities when our, we talk about healthy habits or the things that keep us healthy or unhealthy, I feel like we have to be conscious of this all the time and make a regular and consistent effort to be healthy because there's so many things in and around our area and in our environment that keep us unhealthy, to be honest with you. And if we don't make that time, I think we can all understand that we all have the same hours in the day. We really need to make that time to stay healthy, to stay active, to meal prep, and to find ways to reduce stress because if we don't, we just continually be stressed out day in and day out, and then there's really nothing we can do. That's when those issues come up. That's when major health issues come up, and especially the immune system. And depending on when you're listening to this show, I think it's important to always prevent and pay attention to our immune systems and always prevent instead of treat. All past shows are going up on exploringmindandbody.com. If you ever miss a show, you can go back and check them out there. We also have a free app that you can download on any Apple device so you can download the show and take it with you wherever you go. And finally, for exclusively for Exploring Mind and Body listeners, we're offering a, the first month for $1 to our monthly membership group where we meal plan, send out recipes, and offer 24-7 group support. So if you'd like to check that out, head over to trueformlife.com. Once again, thank you so much for being here. We certainly wouldn't be here without you. I'm going to leave you with that. That's it. That's all I got. I'm out of here. As always, I'm your host, Drew Tadia, in health and fitness for a better world. Thanks for listening. 
You've been listening to Exploring Mind and Body with True Form Life's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. To find out more about the show, Drew Tadia, or to listen to past shows, visit exploringmindandbody.com.